Okay, I'm going to demonstrate how to download music using a $10 a month Rhapsody account and uh, strip the DRM off of that music legally and uh, turn it into an MP3 file that you can play on your uh, MP3 player or, or iPod. Um, so ordinarily the music you download from Rhapsody with or the music you don't pay for is a WMA file that has DRM on it and you can only play that file if you're connected to the internet um, so that the license can be verified by uh, Windows uh, Media Player. So I'll start up the Rhapsody account click uh, by clicking on the uh, icon so that the uh, movie doesn't take too long so I'll go for a uh, a Ramones uh, track because they're usually pretty short okay let's see Blitzkrieg Bop so um oops wait a minute now alright so I want to transfer this to my library so I click on the plus sign that transfers it to my library and there's Blitzkrieg Bop. I'll download it. This is the download indicator and what I'm downloading is a WMA file. Okay that's done. Now um, the application that I use to strip the DRM is called Toonbyte and it does it legally and the reason it is legal is uh, the DRM protects a copywritten digital music file now if you just stripped the DRM out of that digital music file you'd be violating the license agreement but you'd be vi violating the copyright on that however if you play the file and record the music using an analog device then it is not an exact copy of the uh, the original and that's allowed legally and what Toonbyte does is it records it and uh, repl uh, does several uh, passes and make sure it's a really good recording uh, then it saves it as an mp3 file and transfers all the IDE3 tags over and it's basically just like the original only you can use it on your iPod or mp3 player so let's do that I'll add files uh, Ramones Blitzkrieg Bob okay there it is I'll select it and start and that's all you have to do if it needs to go through more than one pass it does with most rock tracks it have to here's the recording you can listen to it if you click on this and that's all there is to it it'll uh, save this uh, in the same directory, the uh, music directory, under uh, converted files, and then you just drag that on, uh, onto your uh, using iTunes or whatever program you use to interface with your uh, MP3 player, and it's done. That's all there is to it. Okay, it's done. I don't think it'll need a second pass. See, this is what's in here. Okay, it's oh no, it's starting second pass. Okay. Obviously, I don't know how it decides whether it's going to have a second pass or not. Um, 
because I've uh, converted. Uh, if you ha if you let's say you select an entire album, it will convert several uh, tracks at once. Sometimes up to four. It'll uh, record them. So. Um, and uh, it usually doesn't go through the whole track a second time, but it did with this. I don't know why. But, but usually it's pretty fast. It's not as fast as a as a uh, program that would just strip the uh, the DRM out of the digital file, but if it does it this way, it's legal, which uh, is a benefit. Okay, it's almost done with the second pass. It should uh, uh, do the pre, the uh, post processing after this. And um, I want to reiterate again: this is a legal way of uh, of saving the, these files, and uh, it just costs you ten bucks from with through our, our Rhapsody. There's other accounts that you can do this with Kazaa I know is like 20 bucks um, Napster is five dollars but you can't download the files at least I didn't couldn't figure out a way to do it I, I checked out a few of these um, but I'm sure there's others that use the same uh, basic thing so now it's transferring the IDE 3 tags and it'll appear over here. And you, you can download loads of music. And uh, I know Rhapsody, this isn't what they had in mind. Uh, so you're, even though you're not violating the law, you are definitely violating the spirit of the DRM. Uh, I got no problem with that, um, but uh, I'm sure they'll do something to make it more difficult eventually, but in the meanwhile you can accumulate a lot of music. It's taking a little while to tag it. It's finished and then it's over here. You can close this out and let's find the file. It'll be in, under music and audit converted. Here it is. See, it's got the uh, the album cover and. That's it. Um, and that's all.